All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.4, problem number two. All right, so let's find the derivative of uh, g of t right here. All right, so first thing I would do is I'm going to rewrite it uh, as a quantity uh, 7t plus 1. All right, so since uh, 7t plus 1 is sitting in the denominator, so it's got to be a negative power. And then you have to raise it to the uh, fifth power, right? All right, so this is exactly the same thing as the original function. Then we're going to take the derivative, right? So g prime of t is equal to, right? So uh, this is the general power rule. Uh, so put the original power in front, negative 5, and uh, leave the um, inside function alone. I right, subtract 1 from negative 5, so it's going to be a negative 6 power. Then multiply by derivative of 70 plus 1, so it's going to be 7. All right, so this is going to be, all right, so we have a negative sign here, so it's going to be negative. All right, and then uh, we multiply uh, 5 and uh, 7 together, so that will give us uh, 35. Right then, uh, since we have a negative power, uh, we know that the seven t uh, plus one is going to be in the denominator. So downstairs here, seven t plus one, and then we still have to raise it to the sixth power. So you have raise it to the sixth power. All right. All right. Let's type it in. Right, we have a negative 35 over a quantity a 7t plus 1 raised it to the uh, sixth power. All right, so uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.